it's time for revision. I don't know how much caffeine I've had today. This might be a problem. Hi, I'm Melissa. I write books. Welcome to the video. Um, I think it's, oh, I don't know when I'm posting this, but it probably is, but, uh, is it NaNoWriMo? I don't know. Tell me. Hey, off topic. I feel like I never wear the color brown and every time I do, I feel like something is wrong. Like I feel like there's something wrong with the outfit because I never wear the color brown. There we go. That's just the fact for the day. I'm about to start a read through. Um, this is called revising a book. I typically will print or I typically, my plan is to print with like Barnes and Noble press for a personal copy, but that turnaround was too slow. And also I needed to write on it a bit more. So I did the old office max $40 bound copy of my book and I have not read it, but I just finished. Let me take a breath. I just finished um, the draft too, like a week ago. So I'm pretty familiar with the book. Um, and I was about to just start a read through, but I realized like that might be a waste of time if I don't do it correctly. So typically when I do a read through of a book before a new revision, I haven't been in the book in like a couple months or weeks. And so I need to do a read through just to remind myself like what happens in this book? I know what happens in this book. So if that was the purpose of this read through, that would not be very helpful. And also I'm trying to speed up my revision process. And I think that the word speed up might have a bad connotation because I think speed can often be attributed to like rushing through or not paying close enough attention. And that's not what I'm doing. When I say I want to speed up my revision process, it means that I want to add more things into each revision. So before I would do like five or six different, fully different drafts of the book and each revision would be tackling a different thing. So like my first revision would be tackling like plot holes and then another revision would be capturing or tackling like there's a problem with this one character. And I would do a whole revision based on a change of like, based on like one change, one or two changes rather than more. And my goal with this revision is to catch as many things in this draft, catch more things in this draft than I typically would. So ambitiously speaking, I would like to catch everything except for line level stuff and maybe even a little line level stuff. So the way that I'm doing that the way that I want to do that is to like look at every angle of this book as it is right now and try to anticipate more problems than I have in the past. And you know, obviously when you write another draft, regardless of how many things you try to fix with it, writing the new draft might create different problems that you don't know about. So it's like, who knows if this is even going to like lessen my drafts. But I do feel like this is book number four that I have revised. The first two, it was, the first one that I didn't really do a huge revision on, but the other two, I like, I have gone through this process before and I feel like I know generally the types of things that I need to look for in order to consolidate my revision process. But if you're revising your first book or even your second book, you don't need to tackle everything with one revision. This is just me being bold and ambitious and also I feel like I see the story, like I understand the story in a, in a more complete way than I have at this point in the past. Um, typically I wouldn't address so many things in each revision because I didn't really understand like the story as a whole. And so I was trying to fix things to try to figure out what was, what the story was about and like what was happening. Um, and I feel like I actually, I know this story better. And so I feel like I can do it faster. That brings me to this read through and what I'm going to be looking for in this read through. So I don't know how long this is going to take. I honestly have no idea, but I want to track a few things. and I'm going to write it down because I don't actually know. I haven't really thought it through exactly what I want to track, but let me just. I for sure want to track um, character development, backstory, pretty much anything that you learn about a character. So I'm gonna do this in different colors for my main female character, Danny, and my main male, main character, male character, Cal, the two POVs of this book. And with them, I'm essentially gonna note any character information that we get about them on the page. So if we learn about a backstory, 
if we learn what kind of coffee they drink, if we see something in their dialogue, the way that they talk, anything like that, I'm gonna note or highlight in the manuscript, annotate that way. Because I feel like I often get in my head about like, I know what the characters think and feel and believe in their history, but I don't know how much of that translates on the page and that often causes plot issues or like, like when you're reading it, you're not as invested in the character, you don't really understand the motivation. And so I think tracking like on the page, what do I say about these characters? That's one thing I'm tracking. The other main thing I'm tracking is the crime. So every piece of information you get about, sorry, I write thrillers. <laughs> so every piece of information you get about the crime in general, so like any evidence you get, any major thing, like if you hear about a motivation, if you hear about, you know, all these things. And so my goal with that is that afterwards I will t I will like list everything that I highlighted and see, does this make sense? The answer right now is no. But the thing about it this time is I know what happens. I just need to figure out if it translates well onto the page. So it's not that I necessarily need to change anything at this point, hopefully, <laughs> but I just need to see if it actually translates on the page or not. Um, and this is something that my beta readers, I'm hoping will help me with as well, because that's always something I struggle with. So I have, I'm tracking my two main characters, I'm tracking the crime. I also, another thing I wanna, this is a little more, ooh, that wasn't a sentence. Do I wanna track their relationship? Another thing I'm gonna track is just things that don't, like sometimes as I'm rewriting, I'm like, what was I foreshadowing to? And like, I'll figure it out later. So I'm gonna track any like plot questions that I'm unsure about because while there are less of those in this book than there have been in the past, there still are some things where I'm like, what was I, what was I doing? Like, why is that in there? Does it need to get cut or was it leading to something else? I also, I should track this. I'm gonna track the character relationship. So I'm gonna, like every time that they are on the page together or that they're thinking or talking about each other. Because truly, truly, I don't know what exactly what genre this is. It's a thriller. It might be technically romantic suspense. It might be like, I don't know if thrillers have the same subgenres as romance or fantasy. Um, Cause romance will be like rom-com or historical romance or um, fantasy romance. And like, it's divided that way. But I don't know if thrillers do that as much. I have seen romantic suspense, but I don't think that's, and I've also seen like thrillers that are funny but I don't know if that has a separate categorization in like the publishing terminal, like when I'm submitting books to agents, essentially. But I do want this book to be voicier and funnier. And here's what I've realized is that I've, I've been reading some like, ooh, funny thrillers. They're not funny, sorry. They might be funny to some people, but the back of the book says hilariously devious and I did not even have like a nose exhale. But they're calling these books funny because the premise is funny or because like it's a lighter tone, but not even, not the stakes are still high, but like the tone is comedic. And that's what I, I just wanna hit that well. And so that's also something I'm just noticing is the tone and where I can add in. Yeah, I don't need to get into this right now. Um, the two main plots of the book are the, the crime itself, like what's actually happening, and the romance, the relationship. So those are the two kind of things I wanted to track, and also my main characters. I also am gonna have a highlighter for anything that's bad. So like if the deliver, if a scene is obviously bad, in terms of its structure or if like a line level. It's just helpful for me to track things that are bad, even if I know they will be changed later because it makes me feel less depressed about them because if I'm noticing them on the page and I'm highlighting that they're bad, then I am assuring myself that I will make it better later. So let's figure it out. Sorry if that was the most chaotic 10 minutes of your life. <laughs>